In kung fu movies, in real life, in legends, in competition, it's a form of martial arts that has become integral to Chinese people. It combines health, fitness, philosophy, and a way of life. Tune in to World Insight with me, Tian Wei, to learn about everything Tai Chi. Hello and welcome to the special Spring Festival series on World Inside with me, Tian Wei on CGTN. For hundreds of years, the Chinese have mastered an indigenous martial art form, Tai Chi. Its popularity can be seen in parks and open spaces in Chinese cities, in which people are moving their body very slow and rhythmic to the meditative music. To find out the secrets and the charm behind Tai Chi, we have invited four gentlemen today to help. Tai Chi, a popular form of exercise in China, especially for the elderly. A martial art with slow and fluid movements, deep breathing, and meditation. It goes back centuries. Every movement has a deep sense in Chinese philosophy, harmony. It's no wonder Tai Chi is in the UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage. It supports balance in the human body, the yin and yang, in Chinese philosophy, the yin and yang are the two elements that make up the universe and must always be kept in balance. Today, Tai Chi is a daily routine for millions of people, old and young, who want to relieve the stresses of modern life. They're in public spaces worldwide, moving gracefully in unison, in tune with the ancient art. And I'm joined here by four very impressive gentlemen. First of all, my great pleasure to introduce Master Xu Chengzhi, who is a 13th generation Chen style Tai Chi master. Welcome, sir. It's great to be here. <laughs> also followed by three of his disciples. We have Ye Xin. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. And Xiao Hui. Hello there. Happy to be here. Good to have you. And also Du Ming. Hi, my pleasure. All right. It's wonderful to have the four of you because you're of the same family in a way, the mm. Chen Dao Tai Chi. Help me to understand, as the 13th generation, what does it mean, Master Xu? We have uh, five or six schools in China, the Chen, Yang, Sun, Wu, Wu. But Chen is one of the uh, biggest uh, schools in the Tai Chi family. Chen style Tai Chi actually has uh, nearly 400 years history. Uh, actually, According to the record, it is the oldest Tai Chi. Good for you. I would guess as a 13th generation, you have a lot of honor, but at the same time, a lot of pressure because you're mm. supposed to spread around the charm of the Chen style. <laughs> but, so we try hard to practice it uh, to be more perfect uh, because this is not easy to practice. Right. So we practice nearly every day to, uh, to refresh uh, our skills. What did you do this skills. morning? What is the kind of style you would do every morning? Uh, we have actually two forms. The first form is the 83 forms, uh, 83 movements. The second is the 71 movements. Yeah. Can you so demonstrate just a little bit for our audience, internationally particularly? Maybe they do not necessarily know what is it like. Uh, the, the characteristics of Chen style Tai Chi actually is like a silky reeling. Uh, this, is, this is very unique in, in, in Chinese martial arts. Yes. Uh, it is like, it is like uh, 
such movement. You see, it, it, is, not, it is not purely a, a, an arc. It is actually a cubic, like silky reeling ah. uh, with your whole body. Right. Actually, it's a kind of massage on your uh, body's uh, main channels inside. In a, we said the Jin Luo. So the qi moves inside with such uh, very complicated movements. Mm -hmm. So after practicing it, you will, be, you will uh, feel definitely uh, clearer in your mind. You have a, a better mood and uh, you have a better energy. Is uh, it true, I mean, uh, yeah, You are the newest among all students, I mean, right? Only practice for a few months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just started, but I have realized that you know, Tai Chi Chen is really difficult. As he, as my master has said, really complicated. Uh. But when you study it, you really feel that it's full of energy. Yeah, yeah. It, it looks like really slow, but really it's full of strength. Mm -hmm. yeah. The master said it is like a massage on the Jin Luo by yourself, right? <laughs> Did you feel that already after a few uh. months practicing? <laughs> well, I haven't just started, so I haven't reached that level yet. Uh -huh. yeah. I guess you should call on your Shi Ge. Uh, these sugars to help you in yes, a way. The yes. brothers, in the elder brothers in the, uh, uh, the, the 14th, I would say, the 14th generation already, right? Yes. Xiao Hui, you are the 14th generation. Yes. What is the difference between the 13th and the 14th? Is there some new development? No, no, no. <laughs> we, we can develop. Mm -hmm. I, 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 allow, I allow my students to, to develop Tai Chi, but it depends on their ability. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot develop it uh, from, uh, without any role. Yeah. You know, what is your is, uh, understanding as the next generation? about the charm of Tai Chi, particularly the Chen style. First, uh, I must learn it very well to be professional. Second, spread it to more people, uh -huh. benefit more people. Oh, it sounds really like a student with the master <laughs> sitting here, very concise and precise when it comes to the answers. I understand, Xiao Hui, you were in Nigeria. Yes. You were teaching 60 students, both Chinese and Nigerians, Tai Chi. Mm. That must be a very unique experience, I would say. Because I worked in a construction company. Yes. We are constructing railway there. Site is far from city. We don't have many entertainment ways. Most of the time, I join my colleagues playing basketball, table tennis, but I'm not feeling very healthy. After playing, I feel painful some parts of my body, and my character change to more aggressive and easy to be annoyed. I don't like that state. Mm -hmm. Then I remember what Master Xu had taught me in university. So I resume practicing Tai Chi. Ah. Mm -hmm. But how did you get all of those people to practice with you? They are interested in it. Okay. They know Tai Chi is a good exercise, can benefit body. My colleagues and especially my boss, they encouraged me to set up a class to teach uh -huh. them. Then the Tai Chi class just start. Let's move on to another disciple of Master Xu, Ye Xin. You are trying to combine Tai Chi and also discovering the Chinese traditional medicine. How does that work? Mm, uh, it's a long story. Oh, cut it short, please. Yeah. <laughs> 17 years ago, I, when I first time met uh, Chen Zhi in the university, uh, it was very impressive. Uh, when I saw his uh, Tai Chi Chuan, it is uh, different from uh, my imagination. Uh, then I started to be interested in that field and uh, practiced, uh, learned from uh, Chen Zhi for many years. And after graduation, I worked uh, for traditional Chinese medicine, mm. uh, especially international dissemination of traditional Chinese medicine to outside China. And uh, as well as uh, traditional Chinese medicine. Right. Tai Chi Chuan is also another very good carrier of Chinese culture and uh, philosophy. And also at the same time, Tai Chi Chuan is also uh, one of the five main therapies of traditional Chinese medicine. Many people are amazed by the connection between the physical health and also Tai Chi. But exactly how that happens? Can you help us understand? Obey the rules, every movement of Tai Chi Chuan is good for health. I can show you. Okay, here we go.
Wow. Amazing. How do you see the relationship between Tai Chi mm. and also the meditation and the mind movement that people have been talking about so much recently? Not only here in China, but also all over the world. Actually, as far as I know, I'm not familiar with that meditation. I'm a beginner of uh, Tai Chi sports. See, uh, your students are very modest. <laughs> <laughs> that is part they, of they practicing very, they Tai Chi. They are very excellent in broadcasting yes. Chinese culture, actually. Mm. Uh, yeah, as, uh, as you mentioned, Tai Chi, trend, uh, tai Chi sports can make people calm down, but it is kind of movement. Uh, how can we explain that kind of uh, contradiction? Mm, actually, it needs uh, a long time exercise to achieve that kind of uh, calming down. Mm. Uh, as a beginner, for me, I, I feel Tai Chi Chuan is a tiring, tiring thing. <laughs> <laughs> but for Chen Zi, he says it's a kind of resting. Uh -huh. That's the difference. That is the difference. Yeah. Yeah. So to you, it's still a sport. In uh, a way. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Yes. But to um, Master Xu, it is already a beautiful style. combination mm -hmm. yeah. of dialogue. It's a, it's a, for me, it's a way of exploring the essence of life. I love that. Yeah. You got one more way than all of us. <laughs> <laughs> and the path from here to here uh, is uh, practice. Mm. I mean, you are coming from a totally different culture. Zen has been quite a hot topic worldwide. Learning Tai Chi, does it really help you to understand better about the connection? Well, I think it does, because when you practice Tai Chi, you're stopping, you're resting. You know, we have a hectic life, all the time running from here to there. But, you know, uh, in Spain, in my country, we don't have any kind of meditation technique. So when you come to China, you realize, wow, Chinese people, they have a great culture, and they have Tai Chi, so I may give it a try. So when you give it a try, you were telling us, but I need to be calm to do this Tai Chi Chuan. I'm not calm, I'm like hectic all the time. But no, it happens, I don't know, naturally. Mm. When you start practicing, you will get relaxed. Oh, or more relaxed. did you remember the very first experience with Master Xu? Was it a <laughs> relaxed <laughs> process? Uh, I think... Tell me about it. When you start, I mean, we practice in Beijing Foreign Studies University, mm -hmm. and we had a lot of foreigners there. Uh, you know, at the beginning, it's really difficult, because you have, to, you have to try to master... Well, not master, just gesticulate, just follow them. Try to follow them, so it's, it's really hard. So you just get the, the basics. You don't, you don't go like really into depth but yeah it's quite fun I mean we had fun I went with my girlfriend who's Chinese and we were just criticizing each other like what are you doing you look like a monkey you know <laughs> <laughs> when you start it's like so have you improved now well I think I have yeah I can demonstrate wow okay great so <laughs> okay so
Yeah. So at the very beginning, it's about following just the movement itself. Correct. Yeah. yeah. But from there to really getting the essence of Tai Chi, mm. quite a journey, I would say, quite Master Xu. It's not easy. Actually, it's not easy. It's, it's complicated. Mm. Uh, uh, who actually try to learn Tai Chi needs and must to pay efforts, spend efforts on this. They need to practice it uh, daily for years to, to master the rule. You cannot play without the rules. Mm -hmm. You get nothing. Uh, even you practice for a very long time, you get nothing. You have to know the rules. But the rules are not so, e are not so simple. What <laughs> are the rules? Uh, the rules including many things about their body uh, structure, how you move, and uh, you, I mean your body is like an, uh, a circle, uh, how, how you move from here to there. It's very complicated how you breathe. There are also some elements of the martial arts elements, how yes. to, uh, what, what does this movement mean? So, something like this, okay. This philosophy is that if you want to master something, you must obey the rule. Mm -hmm. This rule is a doidon. Mm -hmm. This rule is a doidon. And the doidon is the law of the universe. And Tai Chi describes the universe. Describe the nature of the universe. What is That's the rule of the universe then? The rule, the, the rule of the universe. If you want to talk about details to me, then go ahead. What is the rule according it, it to is, it, it Tai Chi? Basic philosophy is yin and yang, but the rules are more complicated. It is actually the same mm -hmm. as the Confucius said, uh, the Li. The, 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 I mean, it's uh, very similar. Mm -hmm. I mean, the right way. We call it right way. The right way. Right. You must find the right way and must it. Then you the keep right practicing. way varies for everybody. Mm. We have some disciplines. The yin and the yang movement is well disciplined. The yin goes the yang, the yang change. Yeah. You always keep balancing. So it must, the movement must have such, such a kind of a discipline. Mm. And you, you have to uh, master it. Okay. And come back to the zen, med zen, zen meditation, the, 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 in, the interconnections. Okay. Uh, then, actually, is also the, the Chinese deep culture to explore the nature of life. The connections between each other are very close, very close. According to my experience, practicing Tai Chi can help you do meditation. Mm. Do meditation, especially for the high quality meditation, yes. requires something. Requires something. Like what? Like uh, like your body should be very healthy, very energetic. And in the meantime, you, must, you, can, you can calm down, you can be peaceful, mm. you can harmonize yourself. It's quite a combination. You can harmonize your mind and your body. That's, that's not easy, mm. especially in this hectic uh, life today. So I think this is, uh, Tai Chi is needed for everyone because uh, sometimes their meditation is too high. Mm. And if you, if you don't have a, a course, to reach that, approach that, it's, 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 it's difficult. Mm. But Tai Chi movement actually uh, can, can help you a lot right. on that. You keep on saying philosophy, mm. culture, uh, therapy, mm. health, but I just don't get it. I mean, how? Mm. All over the world, people want to, in a way, get to know more about Chinese culture. But how is that exactly going to help us? I do not understand. So Master Xu, as the 13th generation, you have the responsibility to explain to me clearly. <laughs> Why tai Chi, is Tai Chi important? That is the Tai question. Chi is more than a fitness routine. Actually, it is a kind of, uh, uh, it is a kind of product developed from Chinese culture mm -hmm. that can demonstrate the depth and the width of Chinese traditional culture. I like that. Explain, please. Uh, first of all, let's say something about its, uh, its philosophy. Okay. Tai Chi Chuan actually is based on the Tai Chi culture. Uh, you see the Tai Chi picture that, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's actually it's, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a kind of a neutralization of yin and yang. It's very balanced. It's keep moving. So uh, it's symmetry. So it's a beautiful picture. Actually, this is the Chinese uh, creation of uh, thinking on this universe. And Tai Chi Chuan actually is, uh, is developed based on such kind of philosophy. Mm. Uh, the interesting thing is that uh, common people may think that Tai Chi Chuan is only kind of martial arts. Tai Chi Chuan actually has uh, embodied uh, with many factors of Chinese traditional culture. Uh, for example, when you practice Tai Chi, you use your mind actually, not your, uh, your strength. I see. It's a dialogue between your mind and your body, mm, okay? I love that. Uh, that means that your, uh, your body 
your, your movement during the whole process. This is, very, this is very similar to meditation, actually. Sometimes you suddenly stop. That's exactly the meditation. And that's the only sports in the world that can have such a kind of uh, characteristics. So this is very interesting, actually. Uh, with such a kind of movements, Tai Chi actually is more than, a, I, I said, it's more than a fitness routine. Right. Because it can not only prevent the disease, but also can cure some disease. Uh, this is interesting, the dialogue between the mind and the body. Yes. You already have a fight between them. <laughs> Not necessarily a dialogue. Uh, uh, so how did that dialogue happen? With what would help me to create that kind of dialogue? Uh, starts from balancing yourself. The so balancing starts from uh, starts from peace. So when you begin to practice Tai Chi, you uh, you uh, automatically you become uh, more peaceful, and then uh, you start to move this slowly. During the whole process, all the movements are designed to be very uh, sym symmetric mm -hmm. and balanced and steady. Uh, so that can, that movement can help you. To be in a uh, tranquility in a way. Yes, tranquility. Everything in your body will be stay in a situation that is very stable, that is very peaceful, that is very harmony. But here so is exactly the opposite of what I'm thinking. Because we go to learn Tai Chi hoping that mm. it would calm ourselves down. But actually you are saying before we practice Tai Chi, we should already calm ourselves down. So here's a conflict it seems. Because I'm going to you, I see, oh, I have a crazy life. Yeah, I want to calm down. Help me with Tai Chi. And you're saying you have to be calmed down in order to practice Tai Chi. So there is a, quite the, a big difference. It is a self-enhancing process. Mm. Uh, when you're going to, uh, you must know how to play Tai Chi first, because this word right now is, is you know, it's a lot of things that you need to deal with. You, sometimes you feel annoyed, but when, when you can take maybe f half an hour every day mm. to practice Tai Chi, normally you will forget uh, most of the troubles, mm. come down and into a kind of situation in your mind. Master Xu really has helped us to explore the essence of the content really behind Tai Chi. Mm. But I guess when we try to explain to the outside world exactly what it meant, even explaining to me take a while, mm. I guess. It would be quite a hectic task, Xiaohui. When you were teaching your 60 students in Nigeria, uh, when you were on the construction site, with your colleagues and friends practicing Tai Chi, it is a very different world from, yeah. let's just say, here, very tranquil environment that we have, mm -hmm. and we talk about the real essence of it. Mm -hmm. And we have some connection with our culture already. We knew at the very beginning something called the Zen, even though we do not know necessarily the content of it. Mm -hmm. But I guess in a very different culture, it takes double, probably even triple the efforts. So we tell me more about that. Most of my students are Chinese colleagues. You know, during daytime, we are very busy. Everyone wants to do fast job. During rest time, right. I teach them Tai Chi. When they practice it, they can rest. Mm. Rest their body, also rest their mind. Mm. So can balance their life. But you should think about it. When you practice with Master Xu, it's a totally different level of practice a learning experience. It's getting to here, to the mind, and it's getting to the dialogue between the mind and the body. But when you're teaching mm. your students, 60 strong even though, it is another level. It's more of a fitness level rather than a mental level. How do you see this difference yourself? Yes, it's different. Teaching other people also can help me improve my skills. Like how? Mm, if I don't know how to play, how to practice it, how can I teach them? Mm. So I must find it, how it practice, how it move. How it move makes in the right way. You know, in the beginning, all learners must uh, do the 
forms in right wing is mm -hmm. first thing and the most important thing. If you do wrong way, you not benefit. So during the first period, I teach them, I adjust their forms. And then after that, is it easy to adjust their forms? After, not easy, because people are normally make wrong way, like what they want to do. <laughs> mm. They would have their own explanation, have their arms and legs everywhere, right? Yes. Mm. 60 students, Chinese and Nigerian. What is the part that is most difficult for them? And what is the part that they really enjoy? It's difficult to explain it. Let me show you. Okay. All right. The first, we change the weight. If you change it like this, this is, this is wrong. If you change like this, this is right. And the second, like this. If you move like this, it looks like right. But actually wrong because tidy movement acts you to one movement the whole body will move together at the same time thank you thank you so much Hui. that's beautiful absolutely strengthful and beautiful thank you mm. so you have to master to a certain degree the styles before you really get into the essence yeah. of it. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, you have to make efforts. <laughs> <laughs> make efforts. That becomes easily, right? Yeah. Don't mean for you too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you only get the exterior at the beginning. I think it's like everything. For example, your English is flawless. I think you didn't start talking like that. It's the same thing. You're mastering something. Mm -hmm. If you want to master it, you have to dedicate basically your whole life. Yeah. Your mm -hmm. time, your efforts, money, everything you want. But, but you think about it, now your friends asking you about Tai Chi, they will say, oh, it's like in a Kung Fu movie, yeah. right? It's cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? But to you, it's a totally different level. It's difficult. And to them, they will say, oh, he's getting so philosophical, I don't understand what he's talking about. But yeah. you have to get to that level to be really into Tai Chi. So tell me about that transformation for you. Well, in my case, you know, I'm a, like, I really believe in uh, science, okay, so when you start studying Tai Chi Chen, there is something outside science, there is Qigong, there is energy, uh, so that kind of stuff at the beginning was like uh, kind of a shock for, for this culture, mm. but you kind of suddenly realize that it may be true, you think maybe this thing has benefits. W so when is that Eureka moment for you? Well, it's uh, probably true, even though it cannot be explained yeah. in the world that I'm familiar with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When is that Eureka moment for you? How did it happen? I think it happens uh, because we also meditate yes. before we, we practice. So when you meditate, you start thinking that it's, it may be not so easy. Not just the, just the things we see are the reality. Because, for example, in this uh, Taiji class, we understand that the mind controls the body. The mind controls everything. So then you realize, so, oh, this is more, this is stronger than, you know, this, mm -hmm. uh, with the medicine we have, which is based on fact. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is a very different thing, isn't it, Ye Xin? That the Chinese, whether it's philosophy or traditional medicine or traditional fitness mm -hmm. practice, mm -hmm. a very different style, a different mm -hmm. branch of thinking. Mm. Mm. Uh, actually, they based on the same philosophy we call the yin and the yang, just as Mr. Xu mentioned. Mm. Uh, the Tai Chi is a description on the relationship between yin and the yang, actually. Everything can be divided into yin and the yang, including yin and the yang themselves. Mm. Uh, taking Xiao Hui's case, uh, the teaching and the studying, learning, is also a pair of yin and the yang. Mm. They can mutually root it and mutually promoting. So when Xiao Hui teaching uh, other people, students, uh, he can also improve his own skills. Mm, especially when we uh, teach, uh, when we teach uh, foreign, stu uh, foreign students, 
uh, because of uh, limitation of our language ability, mm. we have to use very simple sentences to explain to mm. our foreign students. Right. That requires very deep and uh, total understanding on the uh, basic wisdom of philosophy. And when you speak in another language, you yes. have to speak it with a lot of clarity, mm. that yes. the things you have to talk about will be able to transcend to the, uh, to the others. Mm -hmm. So that also makes a huge difference too. Yes, that also can, uh, requires us and also mutually accelerate us to understand better on that uh, routine philosophy. Give me an example. How did that happen to you? Mm, when we explain uh, yin and yang, for example, uh, to Chinese people, actually very easy to understand what is yin and yang. It's not easy for me, actually. <laughs> I only heard about yin and yang, yeah. but I do not necessarily w know what is the relationship between these two, mm. and how could it happen when you say, okay. and why is the world divided into yin and yang, mm. and it's not in the other forms. It's not easy. Mm. It's just a concept that we know, mm. but do not know deeply. Mm, okay. Uh, I can explain that. Uh, okay. Uh, if we are speaking, uh, when we speak in Chinese, uh, we have to say yin and yang like negative and positive. And uh, everything has yin and yang, both sides, and uh, yin and yang are mutually rooted. Um, or we can see uh, without yin, there will be no yang, and vice versa. In traditional Chinese medicine, um, we use yin and yang reflect, uh, refers to referring to many things. Right. In English, we say uh, yin means the essence of the body, and yang means the function of the body. Mm. Without the essence, there's no function. Mm. Beautifully said. Mm. Master Xu, you see, even just one single concept, <laughs> its explanation takes a heck of an effort. Mm -hmm. Not to mention the whole system, mm -hmm. let's just say Tai Chi, related to yin and yang. So the massiveness mm -hmm. of this side of culture, how is it going to be explained to the outside world, even to ourselves? It's a big task, a big question mark. That's a very good question, that the broadcasting Chinese culture is not easy because it's too deep, it's too broad, and it's too uh, abstract sometimes. <laughs> I suggest... Well, from I'm getting it right now. <laughs> <laughs> from the point of my view, we need to broadcast it uh, step by step. Mm. Tai Chi Chuan uh, tai chi or Tai Chi Boxing is, has one advantage. That is, we use the body uh, performance. Mm. Let the foreign uh, culture can see, oh, what it looks like, right. it looks different. Yin and Yang, it's an amazing philosophy, mm. but also very complicated, I yes. guess, Master Xu. Yeah, especially if you combine them with your movement. But I can show you. Could you? Wonderful. Thank you so much, Master Xu. Uh, the first movement I will show you is called Single Weep. Single Weep. It, it's general, gen, general posture is like this. Okay, you see my body weight right now is on the left. This is the yang part. And at the same time, you see, this is the yin hand. This is yin foot. So this is yin, this is yang, this is yang, this is yin. Okay? And my, my, my posture, you see, is like the tai chi, uh, tai chi picture. Tai chi picture. So this is the one movement of tai chi chuan and uh, very perfectly describe the yin and the yang elements. So now, from here, I will move. Okay, one is to this way, two. When you go here, you change. Uh, I change my body weight to the right first. Then I go down, okay? Go here again. So oh, this is quite complicated, but you can, you can see that a single, a single movement, we change yin and yang several times, several times. Uh, at the same time, the qi inside also adjusted several times.
Is it okay? <laughs> wow. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Master Xu. Um, but I guess, you know, for you as the 13th generation of Chen style Tai Chi, there also must be a learning curve. Yeah. How did it happen to you? I think Tai Chi Chen happens to, happens to most, many people. I, not, not, maybe not most people, but to many people because of their health problem. When I was 15 years old, I got a serious asthma. No medicine can cure that. I, um, but before that, I practiced some other uh, martial arts. But, uh, but that year, I decided to try Tai Chi. And 10 years later, the asthma is completely cured mm -hmm. because of Tai Chi. So I feel grateful for this kind of uh, benefits, which uh, encourage me to broadcast mm. it to other people. Mm. So you're coming in from the medical perspective. Yes. But now you're going to another level, as we said. When you practice for five years, maybe you feel some uh, interesting powers like this, like this, mm -hmm. interesting powers. But after that, you may feel more, uh, more things on qi uh, mm -hmm. inside your body. And when the you do flow of the flow qi. of the qi inside the body. Uh, that, that experience actually leads to uh, a higher level that when you do the uh, practice you, you feel warmer mm. and when you do the meditation you feel, uh, you feel more peaceful, mm. your energy is uh, stronger, right. which makes the whole process more interesting. The chi is directing you in a way. Uh, yeah, the next step is that, yes. And after 10 years or 15 years, suddenly I feel that uh, the more in, there is an uh, even higher level, that is your mind, mm. your mind. We call it the shen, your mind. So uh, when, when, when I practice Tai Chi right now, I enjoy the, the mind leading, the mind leading. Uh, and that level is uh, even, uh, uh, of course, I also have the qi level and the uh, kung fu level, but it's, it's, it's actually a systematic. Mm. Uh, so when you practice Tai Chi, it is a perfect combination between what? Between your physical movement, your deep breath, your heart. Mm. So, uh, so that's the reason why I keep practicing Tai Chi. But I have a question about that. After practicing whatever kinds of martial arts, wouldn't you have the similar takeaway as you just said about Tai Chi? I have the authority to, to say something about this okay. because, I, because I practiced many uh, martial arts. Okay, <laughs> like what? Uh, I'm also... Uh, a master of Yi Quan, a master of Xin Liu He Quan, a master of San Da, a master of uh, Jie Quan Dao. Wow! A and the <laughs> so list I, 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 I practice many things. <laughs> uh, because I, I love martial arts when I was nine years old. Uh, so actually I practice many things. But I can tell you that uh, I, I choose mm. Tai Chi as my main, uh, main uh, work to broadcast. I have reasons. Of course, you, you practice other martial arts, you can be, uh, you can be healthier, you can also be more energetic, no problem. But only Tai Chi can give you some special things. Mm. That is more peaceful, that is something I, I said, the, the dialogue between your mind and right. body, and the culture feeling. Uh, so Tai Chi is very special. You could tell yeah. this is a man forever in love with Tai Chi. All of you are great promoters of Tai Chi and the philosophy the medical function as well as the physical function of it mm. uh, behind it. It's such a pleasure to have all of you here with us. Before we go, any secretive shortcut? You know, we love shortcut today in our modern world. We always say maybe there's a shortcut for everything. Is there a way, a magical remedy to help us to really get into the magical world mm. of Tai Chi? I will go with the youngest students in a way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Only <laughs> a few like. months practicing Tai Chi. Doing? A shortcut. <coughs> Sorry, there is no shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> as simple as that. Yeah. yeah. So what does it take? What One does sentence? it take? It takes relentless effort and love, I think. Love for yourself. When you do it, you feel that you understand yourself more. You understand the world yeah. more. So that's it. Love. In the Spanish way, it is about love. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And Xiao Hui? Tai Chi Chuan is not difficult practicing. Just be patient every day to do it in the right way. You will get it. You can achieve it. It will be there. Mm. All right. And Yixin? 
it is good for losing weight. <laughs> 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 That's a priority for you right now, huh? Yeah, I, I, I lost, uh, I lost uh, a lot. And Master Xi? Optimistic, the positive energy. You will, we will be always optimistic on everything mm -hmm. because Tai Chi tells you that everything is changing. The yin always changes to yang, yang always changes to yin. So when you feel depressed, frustrated, you feel difficulties in your life, Tai Chi can help you. Tai Chi can help you steady, can help you balanced, can help you optimistic. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, that's that Tai Chi help us uh, in this reward. Mm. So bring back our energy. Mm -hmm. Yes, the positive energy. Yes. Wow, it's such a pleasure to have four of you gentlemen for being with us and helping us understand the secret and the charm of Chinese Tai Chi. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Yes. And we want to say hi to our audience as well for the Spring Festival. Happy Spring Festival. Happy, Happy Spring Festival. Festival.